Celeb chef Guy Fieri is a man whose life journey went from Midwestern pretzel carts to dozens of restaurants, millions of dollars, and countless hours of airtime. Let's take a look back at Guy Fieri's head-turning transformation. Guy Fieri was born in Columbus, Ohio in 1968, but when he came into this world, the name Fieri was not listed on his birth certificate. Instead, it was Ferry, which was his family's surname. Fast forward to the 1990s, long before he became famous, when Fieri changed his last name. It turns out, Fieri was the actual name of his grandfather when he left Italy and immigrated to America. The chef changed his name in order to honor his family. As for his childhood, Fieri didn't spend much time in Ohio. His family moved to Northern California shortly after he was born. Nevertheless, his hometown has not forgotten their native son. In 2020, thousands of people signed a Change.org petition to rename Columbus to Flavortown, one of Fieri's trademark catchphrases. As of June 2021, the petition had more than 130,000 signatures. Unfortunately for now, you still won't find Flavortown on the map. Guy Fieri didn't waste much time getting into the food service business. At the ripe old age of 10, he opened his own pretzel stand. How did this entrepreneurial venture come about? According to Fieri, it all started during a family ski trip. After a day on the slopes, Fieri told Today that he came home and raved to his dad about the delicious soft pretzel he had for lunch. By the end of the trip, Fieri's father suggested that his son should start his own pretzel business. Young Fieri went back to the vendor, waited until the pretzel seller threw out his box of goods, then went dumpster diving in order to retrieve the address of the pretzel manufacturer. Equipped with a stash of soft pretzels and a homemade pretzel cart built by himself and his dad, Fieri started selling pretzels in the fifth grade. And he didn't stop until he was a sophomore in high school. Fieri used his pretzel money to help fund a year living abroad in France. It was there that Fieri truly fell in love with food and never looked back. Fieri recalled on the Moment podcast, The click went off and I said, that's it, I'm a food person. That's what I want to be. I want to own my own restaurant. After being fully dazzled by the culinary scene in France, Guy Fieri's future was set. From there, he quickly went to work learning everything there is to know about the restaurant business. Fieri enrolled at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas to study hospitality management. During this time, he worked several different restaurant jobs, including Flambe Captain. After graduating, Fieri climbed his way up the career ladder with a stint at a Stouffer's restaurant before being named district manager for Louise's Trattoria. Fieri's career took a big step forward in 1996 when he and his business partner Steve Gruber opened their own restaurant. Johnny Garlic's was an Italian eatery located in Santa Rosa, California. Although Fieri had yet to turn 30 years old, he clearly knew what he was doing. Johnny Garlic's proved to be such a success that the pair opened two more locations. Before he even knew it, Fieri's culinary career was off and running. You wouldn't be out of line thinking Guy Fieri has been on television forever. In fact, it's difficult to remember the culinary television landscape prior to the mayor of Flavortown's arrival. But every great character has an origin story. And for Fieri, it all started by winning a competition show on the network that would become his home for many, many years. In 2006, Fieri was crowned champion of Food Network's Next Food Network star. What was the prize for winning the competition? His own show on Food Network, of course. Guy's Big Bite premiered later that year. But all this almost never happened. On the Moment podcast, Fieri explained that it was his buddies who pushed him to audition, so he finally gave in and sent in a tape. When the network watched the audition, their first words were, according to Fieri, call him, get him on the phone now. The rest is television history, as Fieri has been a mainstay on Food Network ever since. Thankfully, that won't be changing anytime soon. In May of 2020, Fieri signed a new three-year deal with Food Network that will pay him $80 million. According to Forbes, it makes him the top-paid chef on television. Throughout Guy Fieri's climb to fame and his many years in the spotlight, he's been accompanied by his wife of nearly 30 years, Lori Fieri. By all accounts, they have a healthy, loving relationship, which makes it seem like they were destined to be together. But that's not how it appeared when they first met. It turns out Guy and Lori met under some uncomfortable circumstances. The chef was running a restaurant in California when, one day, a recently fired employee walked in with her friend. Fieri told Delish, They weren't supposed to be there. I was talking to Lori's friend and saying, Hey, listen, wait a few weeks before you come in. And standing behind her is this blue-eyed blonde girl giving me this mean mug. Coming to her friend's defense, Lori refused to leave. Guy acquiesced and the rest is history. Lori, a Rhode Island native, was in town as part of her cross-country move to Southern California. Fieri later joked, She never made it to San Diego. Kidding aside, the television host gives his better half a great deal of credit for accompanying him on his crazy life journey. Fieri told The Moment, To get here, you have to be willing to adapt and understand. It's all compromise and understanding. I knew as soon as I saw her. I just knew. Guy Fieri's look is as bold as his flavors, and that includes his platinum blonde spiked hair. In fact, Fieri's locks may just be what he is most known for. But believe it or not, his hairstyle was not pre-planned. Instead, it was a spur-of-the-moment choice by his friend and hairdresser, Christina Jones. Fieri told People, I was just kind of having one of those moods one day and said, just do whatever you want. I get done and I'm like, you gonna wash that out? That shampoo? She goes, no, that's your hair color. I'm like, my what? 
While Fieri wasn't happy with the look, he had to get to work, so he donned a hat and went about his evening. While the new hairdo has become Fieri's signature look, not everyone is crazy about it. Fieri's wife Lori told the magazine, I always say, when are you going to change your haircut? But it's stuck and it's him. I tease him every once in a while. She added that sometimes she wishes he would change his hairstyle and compared it to dyeing her hair black, which is something she wouldn't do for her husband. For as much of a television star as Guy Fieri is, his TV shows are just one component of his culinary empire, which includes a number of business lines. First are his restaurants. Since opening his first eatery in 1996, Fieri has built a portfolio of dozens of restaurants. His flagship outlet, Guy Fieri's American Kitchen and Bar, currently has 12 locations across the country and overseas, with more on the way. Some of his other notable restaurants include Guy Fieri's Smokehouse, El Burro Baracho, and Guy's Pig and Anchor Barbecue. But that's not all Fieri has been working on. He's also published six different books since 2008. Three of them are based off of his popular Food Network show, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, while the remaining three are original cookbooks. If that wasn't enough, Fieri also has his own line of barbecue sauces and salsas, and his Flavortown food line, which includes frozen and refrigerated products. Since winning the next Food Network star competition show in 2006, Guy Fieri has hosted more shows on the channel than one can count. A short list includes Guy's Ranch Kitchen, Guy's Family Road Trip, and Guy's Grocery Games. Fieri's most successful series, however, has been Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. The show follows Fieri as he travels around the country, sampling dishes from popular local restaurants. It has aired more than 500 episodes and is still going strong. But Fieri also branched out from his home network and the kitchen when he hosted two seasons of NBC's game show Minute to Win It. And that's not all. The chef has branched out into even more shows on other networks, including Rachel Ray, Jay Leno's Garage, and Shark Week, to name a few. Just turn on your television, and Fieri is never more than a few channels away. Hello! For someone who has been on television as much as Guy Fieri, it's only right to have his place in entertainment cemented, literally. That occurred in 2019, when the TV personality got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In doing so, Guy became just the third chef to be bestowed the honor, joining Bobby Flay and Wolfgang Puck. The ceremony featured a speech from Guy's oldest son, Hunter Fieri, who referred to his father as, You're my best friend, you're my mentor, and my idol, and I cannot be more proud of you. Also on hand was Matthew McConaughey, who, as it turns out, is one of the celeb chef's longtime friends. During his acceptance speech, Guy made sure to give credit for his success to the friends and people around him and, of course, the residents of Flavortown. The coronavirus pandemic has taken a dire toll on nearly every industry, but few have suffered as much as restaurants and their employees. And while countless individuals have pitched in to provide assistance, few, if any, have done as much as Guy Fieri. On March 27, 2020, Fieri partnered with the National Restaurant Association to start the Restaurant Employee Relief Fund to provide financial assistance for food service workers in need. The well-connected chef began by reaching out to his sponsors, telling CBS News, I started sending out personal video messages to all the CEOs that had any connection to the Restaurant Association. Pepsi, Coke, Cargill, Keurig, Dr. Pepper, you name it. The next morning, we have a conference call, and they said, Pepsi just sent us a million bucks. Aided by additional donations from more than 50 companies and organizations and 15,000 individuals, the Restaurant Emergency Relief Fund raised a staggering $21.5 million in just a few short weeks. The fund, which provides restaurant workers with one-time $500 grants, has helped more than 43,000 employees. With his platinum blonde, spiky hair, outrageous fashion choices, and lowbrow catchphrases, it's easy to dismiss Guy Fieri as not much more than a goofball. Hey, look, I get it. I don't want to hang out with Guy Fieri either, okay? I know he looks like a hot topic manager moonlighting at a Friday's. But for all his silliness, you'll be hard-pressed to find an individual who has done more to support their community and other charitable efforts. Fieri's work to help food workers during the coronavirus pandemic is well documented, but his philanthropic work started long before 2020. A short list of his notable generosity includes founding Cooking with Kids, which funds programs that teach kids to cook, raising money for intellectually disabled children, and in honor of his late sister who was a lesbian, serving as an officiant for the nuptials of 101 same-sex couples at a massive wedding ceremony. One of Fieri's most notable ongoing charitable deeds began more recently. In 2017, as wildfires ravaged Northern California, Fieri and his team created a makeshift barbecue mess hall to feed roughly 5,000 evacuees, first responders, and military personnel per day. The following year, he was at it again, teaming up with Chef Jose Andres' World Central Kitchen to provide 2,000 meals. And in 2020, Fieri stepped up once more, cooking up 2,000 meals of penne pasta, salad, and garlic bread to first responders battling wildfires. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!